titled Youth Adult Partnership. This is how we do it. So we were thinking about the names, how should we name the session and Nalini asked me, what do you want to name it? So I was like, I don't know. <laughs> so we just came up with this funky name, this is how we do it, it's from one of the songs. It has four presenters from our four partners from one of the uh, projects of Arrow, which is called the Women's and Health Right Advocacy Partnership, Southeast Asia. So from Southeast Asia, we have these countries who are working on a project um, on young people, and I'm sure most of you are aware about it. But um, So this concept mostly we have today is because all the projects, all the activities that we do in the project is targeted for young people, but the organization that we work with in these South Asian countries, Southeast Asian countries, are adult-less organizations. So the whole dynamic between young people and then adult who are running these organizations. First we have Rita. Her real name is Rui Deng. You can also see it there. Um, to give you a development, Yunnan Health and Development Research Associate, that's our partner in China. She just finished her PhD in anthropology, uh, who are like six years old, so it's kind of interesting. And she's uh, currently focusing her research in working with ethnic young people in Yunnan. Yeah, as uh, Shuba mentioned, I'm a research fellow in, uh, working for White uh, Yunnan Health and the Development Research Association, Myanmar and uh, Vietnam. YHDI has been working on the issues of the service. So in, in recent three years, uh, one of our priority is goes to uh, uh, young people's sexual and uh, reproductive health. Stronger commitment to improve the status of implementation of health that is a pilot project, intervention project. Here I just gave you the assessment result. It has improved and uh, uh, improve the awareness and the knowledge of the ethnic young people, promote their participation in decision making and the social activities. Level, they become the community leaders now, so they can participate in more uh, decision making. Marginalized the use to relevant stakeholders and uh, authorities. Young people in project design, implementation, evaluation and uh, advocacy activities. And uh, secondly, we provided internship opportunities for young people from grassroots level. For local young people, it's a way of uh, capacity building. But for our organization, it's also a way to really get understanding of uh, ethnic young people, makers at multiple levels, how to realize the empowerment of local young people to equip them with some skills about communication, the quarterly newsletters, and then we help them to widely de de disseminate it among local authorities. So this year we are designing and we will conduct in intensive research among the lessons. Another pilot project in providing use-friendly so we have more interactive discussion later. Thank you, Rita. It was a very good. So those kind of work is really a key word for the Dutch partnership. Oh, and we should keep that in mind, I guess. So our next presenter is um, Minoy. Her short name, we call her Minoy. Uh, Minoy is uh, an outreach worker of Vietnam. She has been working with um, young people's issues for a while. And I have known her before joining Arrow as well through different approaches, different meetings. She has been very active. My full name is Chan Nam Yang Kim Wong, but it's quite long. So yeah, so you can call me in the nickname. So maybe people will know me in the nickname, not my full name. My name is Minoy, and I'm and I'm from Laos. As you know, I'm from Vientiane Youth Center for Health and Development. Um, during we conduct the program of Red Sea. Yeah. Um, so now I will guide you to know a little about Lao situation on reproductive health. Huh. It's the young people under under 20, and we are have many different ethnic groups in Lao. Total is about 45, uh, 49 ethnic groups now, and they are so different. Some di different ranges, education, the health, so they are very poor. And this one is, is the case in Lao. I mean, the collective health issue also. Um, why not? Because the same education in Lao they have. So, um, so the people who be the student, they cannot link with. I uh, they can. 
get the necessary information in basically, and they don't like I don't think that it link with their life or something. And how about and on another side, out of school, there are um, have some organization they work on this one, but just only the city and the capital. But the rural area, the people they cannot access the information about this one. So. I would like to introduce more about um, issues spe uh, specific in the area of PFC that we conduct. It's in Long Nam Tha in the north part of Lao. And we conduct on uh, the ethnic group named AHA. Women or the girls, they don't have the power to uh, um, negotiate with their partner or maybe an another guy or something like that in, in the area. And most of them are early marriage. Uh, as like when I go to, I am in La, I am in Vietnam capital. I'm not in Long Nam Tha, but when I go to the field in in Long Nam Tha, um, most of them 11 or 12 years old, they get married already. So, um, about RFC in Lao, um, project in Lao is whole project is like a we do the youth program, like a outreach activity in the factory or university. Um, we do the hotline counseling by by phone and we do a clinic for free for the young people and we have a great open camp or something like that but for the University of Hyosai they, they focus on education and some reason now we organize the youth information network and for the revised data yeah, many young Aha girls they say that they would like some space to like discuss about sexual reproductive health and also to share the experience so now um, we create the youth information room, but um, some, as you know, in in Aha province, the voice is very powerful. Uh, so the girls is like a, cannot have a power in them. Uh, we try to uh, be the consultant with them to, to running the um, the room, and also we build them the capacity building on how to manage their um, room and how can they do the activity. So um, now we train the health care providers to the young people. Yeah. So this is uh, some picture that you can see. Like uh, we have the data collection and we have the advocacy not just only in, um, in the center and also in the village. And most of them is the young people who participate also. Do about youth adult partnership doing the project. I, I'm not the, the manager and the staff of them, but it's hardly to make uh, um, the relationship of, uh, between University of Health Science and Vietnam Youth Center to, to harder because they think about this. But after that, uh, we communicate a lot of, we um, try to expand and we try to advocate the, the province. And, and, and the local, I mean, uh, the province and the district to help us to learn, so we can do this. And now we are strengthening partnership between University of Health Science and Vention Youth Center. Yeah, in the capital, and don't know anything, don't go anywhere, don't go in Vention. So I don't know what happened in another province. But after I involved this one, it's like I inspired me because I saw the real situation in another province. They are really poor, they are lack of information. They are young people, but just only 11 years old, they get married. Combine the new one to the, uh, to, um, for, the, uh, for the Aka ethnic group especially. And also, I'm also be the trainer of, of, uh, of the training in, in, in Aka province. And yeah, this one is happened in Lao. And in the first time after we finish the training, and then they go to like, uh, give information for their friends, they cannot do because they have empty from the from the authority, they said that because it's quite sensitive in there. So um, how can we do after that? Uh, we try to advocate the the district and also the village to understand. And we are lucky that the head of the district they so support us. Um, before we go to the next presentation, I'd like to request all of you to do like this. Um, she's a young volunteer doing PA education, council community, and working for Likhan. So let's welcome Michelle. Why? I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> okay. The station I belong. Likhan Center for Women's Health Incorporation is an NGO committed to women's rights on reproductive rights and health policies and legislation. And Likhan Center is established in. 
1995. We had a community organizer which is um, part of the We had a community organizer uh, that is the partnership between the adult and youth in our community. So we're conducting a sexuality education which promote, uh, which promote uh, using of um, contraceptives among the sexually active young people and encouraging them to attend educational sessions. That is strengthening the solidarity among young people and develop a youth leaders. So, um, we do elections to our youth organization and become um, welcoming the youth to the centers. And in the community-based clinic, we had a we set up a library where information is within reach. Mother is a community health promoter, a, a community health worker, and also a member of Mother's Organization. I become more interested and become a member of youth organization. But for our program, we had the Home Exchange program also. Now we have totally nine, 90 locations, but we lot in the women Mangrove to collect the especially the sexual reproductive health address, the issue that how the immigrant women face in their daily life in their workplace. Especially once we distribute out the questionnaire, when we review back the question, the main problem is that an event and sentence where to get or to accept the contraceptive in their area, especially the STI, any pregnancy, every marriage, and assist abortion also in a big violence they are facing in their community. Place to play, but we have to that a when they move to another place, the leader move to another place, but our leaks or connection we don't have the corporate. That would also be fun, I guess. And we also have Na, as well as Sam Sorong, who is also part of this project as young people. So if you have an addition of an experience sharing of any challenges that you have encountered working with adults or any positive you know, outcome working with adults. I'm Brown, come from Cambodia and I'm a youth representative uh, for Reproductive Health Association of Cambodia. I think it's uh, quite cool, it makes me so difficult. I'm a volunteer, um, I was be a volunteer, was be a peer educator since uh, 2011 and be a youth representative in 2011 or so. About the mission or vision of my organization. Yeah, um, our vision of my organization, organization hope that Cambodian people review just health services. Third is um, community and public health support for work Place health program and this is volunteer board group component and healthcare financy components. We continue, we still continue to work one province uh, in Monogari province. We continue uh, until 2014, as I know. <laughs> Thank you for arrow and. That year, work on uh, youth-friendly services here and comprehensive sexual uh, CSE. <laughs> Sorry. Of, uh, I come from China, and I work in Kuomintang Medical University, and also a member of Yunnan Development, Yunnan Health and Development Research Association. The, the same with Rita. So. I learned a lot from this session, especially from Laos and the Philippines. So I have one question for Laos, the friend, uh, friend from Laos. Uh, according to the presentation from Laos, you say you create a youth information room. So I'm very interested about that. So my question is, what information you share with the young people and in what way? I have the knowledge to the not and the reproductive health, mm, even including life skills or something like that. They are speak other 
the local like it the not uh loud like it not 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 the, the what they call it, the national rank it. So they have another rank it that locals and most of them are like of education and most of them cannot speak loud like it also. So we try to how we can do we try to put about cartoon that they can see uh, the picture about the picture and also up here most of them are, are persons and are, are not not most of them half I can say they are the students so they can read now like it so in the room they can share they can translate they can do activity like this one and also another material we, we provide uh, TV and CD video CD so now we collect uh, video from the like, uh, union they have um, the story about I can say him Women like it talk about sex worker or something like that in here. And now we try to collect uh, the information in Laos, the organization that we partner in Laos that work about this one to to here, not just only reproductive. In the uh, because the your information they have many relays, right? And in the mountain, you know, this one. The city in the evening they also come, and in the weekend they also come. But from the mountain, <laughs> when they come, they also come. But we have another thing. We have to um, uh, organize the meeting. And I, I mean, like a exchange the knowledge. Uh, we plan to do monthly meeting every month. But because the geography, you know, the mountain, so the exchange now is three months per time. So this one is how often? I don't know. I I can answer your question or not. But yeah, ten years to working with young people. I think uh, good. Um, Thank you very much for Aero and many participants uh, were here to share about the experience about the working with young people. I think it's uh, uh, some pro uh, some important when we working with young people. Um, um, as a first, we think uh, we, uh, young people need to involve in the whole process we do uh, in the office, in the project, in the activity. And the second thing, uh, I th the second thing I think um, many people, uh, many young people need to capacity. Uh, for um, the uh, for many activity, for example, um, in my ca in my office, we often um, involve young people to uh, main activity of, uh, of our office. For example, we have some research. We involve young people to conduct, uh, to implement, and to uh, to oversee. And we involve young people, um, not only young people from the, the university. We have many activity for young people living with a disability, uh, living with HIV, migrant worker, um, uh, people at uh, LGBT group. For example, when we conduct about the um, dialogue with uh, many policy makers, we need to time to prepare about young people to skin about the advocacy and um, uh, capacity about the SISF. Uh, that's why uh, they can attend about the dialogue and disability and to serve about their lives, to serve about their hobbies. Uh, dialogue, we have more than 200. However, we have 40 people, uh, young people, who attend the dialogue. Here is the message, and um, message from young people to the policy maker. And we have some events to young people to practice about the advocacy scheme, about, uh, about SISF.
session. Thank you.